In today's video lecture, we will be seeing BWE most important questions of JNTUH R18 curriculum. In this video, we will be seeing all the last year question and answers of 2021-2020, next 2019 and 2018. So if you study from these four question papers thoroughly, then you can pass in tomorrow's exam that is 2020 BWE exam. The first question is what are the limitations of superposition theorem? Okay, then find the current I in the circuit below using Thevenin's theorem. Just go through this PDF. Second question, define time constant. What is the time constant of RL circuit? Find the current I in the circuit below using Norton's theorem. What are the advantages of phasor presentation? Define phase sequence. Obtain the relationship between line and phase values of star connected system with three phase star supply. A series circuit with resistor of 50 ohm capacitor, 20 microfarad, and inductance of 0.2 Henry is connected across 230 volt, 50 hertz supply. Calculate current, power, and power factor in the circuit. Then fifth question is what are the main applications of auto transformer? What are, how a single phase uh, transformer works? Draw the equivalent circuit of transformer and explain explain the working principle of single phase induction motor. Draw the characteristic between torque and slip in three phase induction motor. What are the applications of MCB? Explain its working principle and discuss about various types of batteries. So in this you can see that from unit 1, 3 questions were asked of 25 marks. Unit 2, 5 questions were asked of 27 marks. Unit 3, 3 questions were asked of 31 marks. Unit 4, 2 questions were asked of 14 marks. And Unit 5, 3 questions were asked of 23 marks. Now, let us see the question paper of November 2020. The first question is, find the power supplied by different sources using KCL and KVL equations in the following given circuit shown in the figure. Just go through the sums. Find the Thevenin's equivalent with respect to terminals AB for the circuit. So problem based on Thevenin's theorem. Next, what is the phasor diagram? Draw the phasor diagram of RL parallel circuit under steady state condition. Unit 2 question. Next, we have two loads in parallel are supplied by a single phase 230 volt 50 hertz supply. Load A is given at 10 kVA. At 0 0.8 power factor leading, load B is given at 15 kilowatt at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. You have to find the real power, reactive power and line current drawn from the supply to the combine by the combined load. So you should know the formulas for the real power, reactive power and current. Okay, This is also from the starting units. Then fourth question, A bit is a coil having inductance of 2 Henry is connected in series with a resistance of 10 ohm and a capacity of 50 microfarad. The whole combination is connected to a 200 volt variable supply, determine resonant frequency, current in the circuit at resonance and corresponding voltage developed across the capacitor. Answer is given, resonant frequency formula is FR is equals to 1 by 2 pi root LC. Now this particular syllabus, okay, uh, like uh, this is from unit 2. Okay, so these are important questions. Please go through these questions. Next, we have question number five. Various losses occurred in single phase transformer. Then a problem based on it. Then sixth question is, describe the operation of auto transformer. How does the current flow in different parts of its winding? What are the different features of star, star and star delta three phase transformers? Explain various speed control methods of separately excited DC motor. Describe briefly the construction and working of any single phase induction motor. Describe the PVC cables of different types and their size which are used for low voltage ratings. <coughs> Sorry. What are the important features of ELCB where it is used for protection? Then to this December 2020 question paper. First question. Explain VI relationship of RL and C elements. That you can see it's an important question only. B bit is by using Norton's theorem. You have to find out the uh, Norton's equivalent. Okay. Just go through all the questions. Next. 
Fifth question is explain the losses that occur in a transformer. Fifth question explain in details about three phase transformer connection. Seventh question explain constructional details of three phase induction motor. Then a problem is based on fourth unit. So from November 2020, we get to know that from chapter 2, two questions were asked of 30 marks. Chapter 2, three questions were asked of 30 marks. Chapter 3, five questions were asked of 30 marks. Chapter 4, two questions were asked of 15 marks. And chapter 5, two questions were asked of 15 marks. December 2020, four questions were asked of 30 marks. Chapter 2, two questions were asked of 30 marks. Chapter 3, three questions of 30 marks. Chapter 4, two questions of 15 marks. Chapter number 5, one question of 15 marks. Next we have... Okay, one second. Okay, August 2019 question paper. Relationship between voltage and current in capacitor. What is reactive power? See, we have to refer these small questions also because we can see that we know that uh, we have long answer questions. But in that long answer questions also, they can also ask you A, B, C. So these questions can also come. Okay, so go through these questions also. Okay. December 2018 question paper. Just go through these questions, study well, all the best. If you study these questions, it's enough. I'll also share the answers with you now. <coughs> 